why. But whenever a new game, a new FNAF game comes out, something always goes wrong with the first episode. FNAF 6 didn't record because I apparently misclicked the uh, start recording button. Custom night. Computer was way too slow. Couldn't really keep up with that. So the game was, or at least the footage was, pretty pretty choppy, pretty janky. And now we come to help wanted. Everything was fine. Everything was looking perfect. I had such a great time playing it. And then I went to edit it, and I realized that this thing, this stupid thing right here, was connected, but didn't pick up any of my audio. So, I had the game's audio, just didn't record any of my audio. So now I've kind of, I've kind of come to a crossroad here. I can either redo the entirety of the FNAF 1 minigames, all of them up to night 4, which I did beat and have footage of, or I can just show you guys me beating them, except I don't have any audio. Right now... Um, I haven't made a decision yet. Still debating what I should do. But for now, I think, I think I'm just gonna have to remain silent. Because I had nearly an hour, no, over an hour worth of footage for that, for those minigames. Of course, I'll show you the, the good parts, you know, the opening, when I beat the night, so you guys can actually believe me. You know, we encounter the weird glitchy bunny guy who apparently is like I don't know <laughs> I don't even know who it is but um yeah I'm gonna show it, it's gonna play out just like a normal video except I will not be talking I even recorded something at the end which I um apparently did not have any audio for as well so I guess I guess I'll just have to repeat it here alright um <clears throat> <clears throat> Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted is a game like no other, and it's a huge milestone for the franchise. For nearly five years, and seven, six, seven games later, almost all of them have now been put into VR, which is just unbelievable. The fact that Steel Wool, Lionsgate, and Scott managed to create something so, so unbelievably awesome in just a few months, maybe half a year, is mind-blowing. It truly is crazy. And I had such a great time playing it. I really did. Now, like I said before, my audio was messed up, but I did have over an hour's worth of footage that I will show to you again like a normal video, except I won't have audio. So, yeah. That's just the curse of me and episode one of New FNAF titles. That's just how it goes. But now that I know everything should be working now, I'm probably going to record episode two right after I finish uploading this video, and that will have my audio. But for now, no audio episode one. <laughs> Enjoy that. It's pretty cool. Even if I uh, don't have any audio. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. 
Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge-of-your-seat virtual reality experience? We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades, and while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha, ha, ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree, and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Thank you for playing the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweat. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while and have a good time. And remember, despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu.
Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial hair. It's the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. Characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night.
Are you having fun yet? That's great to hear. We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable. Am I sad that it didn't record my audio? Yes, absolutely, but that is also my fault for not checking if everything was, you know, recording everything. That is entirely my fault. But that doesn't mean I'm not excited for the rest of the game. This is, like I said, one of my... Actually, I might have said it in the last recording where my audio cuts out, but I said somewhere <laughs> that this is by far one of my favorite games, period, that I have ever played in my life. It is so... It's so freaking cool. And I know cool is a really bad adjective to use here, but... It's unbelievably awesome.
How about that? Is that better? There you go. Got an adverb and an adjective in there. Woo! Look, come on, I'm on fire. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so cool. And again, I apologize for this rocky start, but hopefully things will just keep going up and up. So thank everyone so much for watching and look forward to part two. I'm actually going to go record it right now after I upload this video. So thank everyone so much for watching and I will see you all. The flip side. Goodbye.